Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm here with the astrology for June. So we're going to start off today with Gemini. So don't forget to check out my deck shop, Overnight Design. You can sign up for my Patreon, just £3 a month, all the links are down below. So we are going to be doing Gemini. So check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So what does Gemini need to know for June? For the highest line, love of all. And I'm using the Unicorn Tarot, uh, the Unicorn Wisdom Tarot. Sorry, the Crystal Wis Unicorn Tarot. So what does Gemini need to know for the highest light and love? Well, we're starting off with the Tower. Justice. So a very powerful month. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles. So a very powerful month here for Gemini. So we've got the Tower. So un sudden unexpected change. But justice is coming in. So it's a good thing, I feel. And karmic will is turning forward so good news and we've got seven of pentacles so basically you you're sowing seeds um something that you've sown seeds on put that time and effort in could be coming to fruition you could be reaping the harvest so why is the tower there we've got the nine of cups so there's a wish fulfillment coming in so something out of the blue is coming in that's a wish fulfillment wow and it's, it's, it's to do with love. We've got the Ace of Cups here. So there's justice around love coming in. So why is the Wheel of Fortune there? We've got the Queen of Wands. So this could involve, involve a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some could be same-sex relationships. So, and then we've got the seven of pentacles so reaping the harvest of time and effort put in yeah queen of pentacles so i i believe you know you're getting an increase increase in finances here okay i feel your financial situation is becoming more stable for some it could be you're connecting with a earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so let's go a bit deeper so why is the tower there so we've got the four of wands so i feel something is going to change with regard to your stability why is this four of wands there yeah we've got ace of pentacles so i feel there's new financial stability coming in here for you maybe this is a new work opportunity or a new way of making money or there's some money coming in that you're owed which ties in with the seven of pentacles where you've been putting in time and effort but you haven't reaped the harvest yet and there is definitely justice so we've got three of cups it's time to celebrate this something good is coming into your life and we've got the chariot so things are going to move forward for you now maybe you've been in a stuck energy and we've got the, with the seven of pentacles with the death card so there could be a transformation in your life as i say around love and money and, you know, you're in that Nine of Cups, you're loving yourself, you're in that self-love energy, feeling good about being on your own, but it looks like there is love coming towards you here. So why is the Nine of Cups there? So we've got Nine of Pentacles energy. So yeah, you're, you know, you're doing well financially, or you're going to be doing well financially. You're independent, you know, you're not necessarily looking for love, and you're doing well on your own, you're grounded, but there is love coming towards you here. There is... A new beginning in love with that Ace of Cups. Yeah, we've got Page of Swords. So there could be somebody that's had their eye on you online. This is somebody maybe you know or somebody you don't know. And they want to come forward with their truth, I feel, here. And as I say, for some it could be a fire sign with that Queen of Wands energy there. <clears throat> Wow, we've got the King of Cups. So this is could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's somebody that has love to offer. This is somebody in touch with their feelings, their emotions. They want to offer love here. And there's, there's more stability in your finances with that Queen of Pentacles. You know, you're feeling good financially. And this person wants to collaborate, I feel, with you. You know, maybe you're going to work together. Maybe you are 
in a workplace with this person. Maybe this person is in your workplace. Um, but they're wanting to build something here. So what's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Gemini? What's the outcome for Gemini? Well, we've got the Hierophant. So this could lead to a commitment. This could lead to a solid relationship. Yeah, and we've got the King of Pentacles energy here as well. So, you know, we've got King and Queen energy. So that is, you know, could be your counterpart, divine counterpart energy. Somebody who's your match. Somebody that is financially stable. Um, you know, that has that financial stability and wants to, you know, build together with you. To collaborate, to build something together. Wow, yeah, we've got the two of cups. So this is going to be mutual. Oh, wow, we've got the lovers. So this is soulmate energy, okay? This is a soulmate. This is a destined connection, I feel, for those of you that are looking. So let's get some final guidance for you. Final guidance. Final guidance. What does Gemini need to know for June? Never said July. Wow, look at that. Someone in power. Insta instinct intellect and control we've got the number four which is the energy stability so there's definitely stability coming in and you're coming into your power so follow your guidance follow your intellect you know be in control i uh, take control of your life and we've got clairvoyance so inspiration interpretation and trust so trust in your guidance trust in your inner knowing and we've got the number three plus five, eight, which is abundance. So we can see that there's abundance coming in in love and finances. And we've got miracles, ancient wisdom. So there's miracles coming towards you. Okay, so expect the best for yourself. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to send you love and blessings. Take care.